I'll be honest, I was never really a pet G guy. When I needed a little bit of extra toughness, PLA Pro always did the job, and with a plethora of filaments at my fingertips by nature of working at Polymaker, I had plenty more options when looking for something more exotic. But that's changed. This is a new generation of PETG, redesigned from the molecular level, producing not just an incremental improvement, but a completely new formula focused on speed, strength, and cost efficiency. Beyond the specs, there's something about the colors and the feel of the prints that genuinely sparks joy when you hold them in your hand. Just look at this electric blue little axolotl. And look how cute it is. The saturation pops, the surface feels crisp, and there's this subtle sheen that makes the whole color range feel alive. If you've ever printed one of these flexible jointed toys in PLA and handed it to a toddler, you'll know that about 30 seconds is the average lifespan. Now my little one's been playing with these for the last three weeks and they still feel brand new. Polymaker PETG delivers strength and visual appeal in one material. If we dive into the mechanical properties, the standout feature by far is the layer adhesion. With an unbelievable Z-axis tensile strength of 45.71 megapascals, that's 95% of the XY strength. That's nearing injection molded par isotropy. This means that print orientation for layer alignment strength is negligible. So if you're crazy enough to print this headphone band vertically, which is very much not the way it was intended, you can still lend your headphones to Shrek and get them back in one piece. The new formula also boosts the impact strength by 47% and the bending strength by 14%. In practical terms, you get prints that are not just tough, but also resilient. Parts that flex before failing instead of cracking in a brittle nature. Perfect for functional prototypes, brackets, or mechanical parts that need reliability. PETG used to have a reputation for being slow. Typically, the volumetric flow maxes out around 11 to 14 millimeters cubed per second. Many moons ago, this was an acceptable flow rate, but it's rather sluggish by today's standards. Our new formula can handle double that flow rate with extremely reliable results at 22 millimeters cubed per second. If you want to get even more bang for your buck, you can upgrade the stock hardware to an E3D HTA 0.4 millimeter HF nozzle, crank the flow rate up above 30 and let it rip. You'll see a dramatic time saving, in some cases shaving hours off prints with no visible compromise in surface quality. When it comes to melting plastic, no one has more experience than E3D, and the extra productivity gained is certainly worth the upgrade, and these two products go together like bread and butter. Let me give you a little context behind the scenes, and even if you've only been following Polymaker for the last three weeks, you'll have noticed that this is the second product launch this month following Fibron Pet GF 15. And spoiler alert, there's more product launches coming next week. So it's fair to say the schedule is busy and any time saving to be had in the printing process that's usually the longest part is worth its weight in gold. So thanks E3D for producing the best in the business hot ends. And on top of that, literally everyone who works there is an absolute legend. So after the product team have dreamt up a new material, it's validated by R&D before being produced in our extensive facility. The golden samples come fresh off the line and immediately get airshipped to me for product pictures, prints, engagement photos. The production spools then get put on a ship and sent to our global locations. This generally gives me about a month before the ships arrive to get ready for the launch, which is just enough time to do a couple prints in all the colors and really get to know and feel the material. The point I'm trying to make is, I printed a lot of different filaments after 10 years in the business. This formula changed my whole perspective on PETG. It genuinely has been a pleasure to work with and I think the prints really speak for themselves. I actually can't get over how vibrant the colors are. And I've also had the pleasure to test out the new Snapmaker U1, which has led me to do more multicolor printing in the last month than ever before. All the prints work first time, stuck perfectly to the bed and self-released. And if you keep the filament dry, then you won't have to reach for a heat gun or blowtorch to burn away any pesky strings. We've also tackled one of PETG's oldest pain points, stringing and oozing. Through adjustments in melt flow index and surface tension, the filament transitions cleanly between extrusion and retraction. But if you do start to notice some stringing creeping into your prints, then it's likely due to moisture. This formula, like all versions of PETG, is still hygroscopic. Once you open the box, you'll notice an aluminium resealable bag 
and as with every other Polymaker material, it's ready for perfect print straight out the bag. If we take a look at the moisture absorption curve, you'll see that while the equilibrium is quite low, around 0.5% of moisture by weight, it doesn't take that many days to get there. This doesn't mean that you need to keep your spools locked up at all times, but I did notice some slight stringing after leaving these fresh spools out on the Snapmaker over one weekend. This is an easy fix though, if you pop them in the poly dryer for a few hours, they'll be good as new in no time. Nine out of 10 problems with this filament are moisture related. So if you start to notice anything other than perfect layer stacking, then a quick blast of hot air usually fixes the problem. Despite all these improvements, Polymaker PET-G is on the market for under 20 bucks worldwide. That's possible because of a more efficient polymer blend, optimized extrusion processes and economies of scale savings that can be passed directly to you. It's faster, stronger, and now more affordable than ever. It prints exceptionally well on modern high-speed printers thanks to the natural flow characteristics. The applications for PETG are really endless. Last year, we introduced Panchroma, which offers the widest choice of colors and surface finishes for PLA, and Fibron for our composite engineering filament. Polymaker PETG bridges the gap and offers a material for users who need a bit more strength but also want a vibrant color choice. So whether you're printing for engineering, manufacturing, or education, Polymaker PETG opens up a wider performance envelope without the complexity of switching to engineering grade materials like ABS or nylon. So yes, I wasn't a PETG guy before. With this new formula, that's changed. It's faster, stronger, easier to print, and even more affordable than ever. A balance that we haven't seen in PETG until now. If you're like me and have written off PETG in the past, it's time to take another look. This isn't the same material. This is what PETG always meant to be.